It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1519, recorded Thursday, May 21st, 2015. We're sticking together. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we got tools on your wrist, tools in your keychain, coffee, and something to keep your mouth shut with. All next on the Giz Whiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LED. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. now! Now! I hope you are ready for the Giz Whiz! And here he is, Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm fine, and you, sir? I am doing fantastically. We, hopefully, I have spent time this weekend, and I hope that it didn't go all to waste. I think we have fi- nailed our audio issues. I hope. Well, we'll find out as we, we go will. on. <laughs> as the no, show goes actually, on. <laughs> as the show goes on. No, in general, emails have been really great. That yeah. there are people are thrilled that we were able to seamlessly, almost seamlessly, uh, transition from a multi-million dollar studio into a multi-dollar studio. Yeah, with very few. <laughs> Real screw ups. Yeah. Uh, here, I can show you what our uh, now the new audio setup looks like. Uh, it it do, is... do you have the uh, two paper cups and string that yeah. we were using? Yeah, we have yeah. those. We were right using over here. those. Here's okay. the string. Okay. Uh, this wasn't okay. as effective as we were led to believe by no, the two exactly. paper cups and string manufacturers. No. And we even tried glass with a I string. Know. Didn't work. Soda we, the, was leaking the, all the over the place. Solo cups worked better for some weird reason. Solo you know, cups are good, but you, they don't do stereo. They don't. It was really no. upsetting. So now we've upgraded to this. This is what we're using now. Whoa! So this is a audio. This is a software switcher. And wow! Yeah, look at that. So now is that is that just a picture of one, or is it really working? That's really working. So I'm I'm one oh, one one. Oh, I could see it. Yeah. So here I can change this to Dick's mic. There we go. And then this one's my mic. And this one I don't I'm not using. This mic right here is uh or this input right here is the desktop. So if I play a, like a here, you can see that wow. those levels are going up. It does mix minus, which is amazing. So right now. You are going into broadcast one right here. This is, remember, this is your slider, uh, which is, I believe, this one right here. But you're not going into broadcast two, which means that I'm sending broadcast two to you so you don't hear yourself back, um, which nice. is super, super important. So, so what's on the, first of all, what is a cassette doing here? <laughs> it's a really, really bad representation of uh of like a, a deck of what we could do so if oh, i wanted okay. to i could put the you crappy corner need it but you might want in there and and play it from there or you know, like, I could, but, you could know for it. our show a cassette representation <laughs> i think works pretty good it works great right um and then i can also you know route this to three different outputs uh so right now this one is going through what I'm listening to, it, with it, which is an M audio box, but you can also, which I've muted this one, I can have it go through the, the TV. So if I wanted uh, to, cow. if I'm just setting up and want audio through the TV, I can do that and I have that turned down. This is called Voice Meter Banana, and it is really, really, really helpful. <laughs> I, can, I can show you what it replaced. Let me, let me see if I can grab some of this, if not most of it. You were using the uh, pomegranate, brand, right? Right. Right. Pomegranate was not nearly as useful as banana. Banana has <laughs> really banana. stepped up. This is what it replaced, um, and it was quite a lot of gear and wires. Oh, uh, these are the little here I have under here. Well, not the keyboard. Obviously, the keyboard was. It did not replace the keyboard. I just had happened to have a keyboard laying on top. But here's little um, sound 
cards that I was using to kind of route audio around. Uh, lots of wire. Here's some more end points right here that went into the front of the computer. Uh, we had this this mic was you right here, uh, and it okay. actually has on there a white tape that says Dick, um, and there's also tape on there that says Chad and PC and stuff on the bottom there. So this is wow. this humongous thing is what uh, the software replaces. And hopefully there's going to be a lot less buzz. There's going to be a lot less peaking. Uh, it, it sounds very clear. I'm very, I'm sounds very, sounds very, very clear. impressed with it. Uh, especially because you could, I could make this all work. But there's a lot of little, you know, your audio chain is going to be only as strong as your weakest link. And I believe that these little guys were a pretty weak link. But if you're going to get a, another sound card that's like 50 bucks, and this was 10 So I was doing it kind of the cheap way, and I think we were paying for it there. In, in the end, and, and you know, here's XLR cables. This one went to my microphone. Anyway, I'm so happy that we don't have to deal with this anymore, and uh, I can do it all in software with uh, the voice meter banana software now. And on top of all that, guess how much the voice, voice meter banana cost me? $10. Nothing. Nothing. It cost me nothing. Uh, now there is a donation link on their page. So I, if if you are a um, fan of the show and have a little bit more to give other than uh, our support on the Patreon, please chip them some money. I'm going to donate some money to them because it this has solved so many issues. It's super useful, and it's just people who are really passionate kind of about this thing and and they're it's uh, donation wear. So. I could not. And, and the name of the company again is Voice Meter, and um, the the one that I'm using is uh, Voice Meter Banana. Is the voice they make meter another banana. voice meter, uh, which is kind of for the voice meter originally started with creating uh, a way to record Skype really easily. And uh, here is here is their website, VB Audio. Um, believe yeah they kind of have a kind of a long URL there but if you search for voice meter or voice meter banana you can find it I'm also using uh, this this as well a virtual audio cable to route your your sound into it from you to Skype or from you to voice meter anyway they have all sorts of stuff in here Wow yeah my software says second banana yeah <laughs> you have used banana you have rotten you, banana you, or <laughs> Bruised banana, sitting Bruised on the counter banana. for a little, little while. Banana, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm really, really, really impressed. No, and I think it sounds great. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So yeah. Yeah, hopefully, because of Voice Meter Banana, it was a crazy name, but a product that really works, and so I'm really happy about well, that. Well, I say welcome to the bunch. Uh, thank you. Yes, welcome, yeah. welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Anything else happen interesting this week? Uh, let's see. I I got my med piece in. Uh, I did a takeoff on. This will be June, July. For the August issue, I have a full-page satire on pocket hose. Pocket Do you know the hose. pocket hose? Have you? No, I haven't heard of pocket hose. Oh, you don't know the pocket hose? Oh, my God. You know the little hose that when you attach water, this little thing that comes in a box about this big becomes a 50-foot hose. Uh, oh, is that the one that it, it has a smaller, it has like a smaller thin like hose inside and then it'll... Yes, it'll exactly. It'll expand. I have seen Yes, it. yes, that's pocket hose. Okay. Anyway, they, they, they're selling millions of them, so I thought it was time to knock off their ad. So that's what, uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's who could, who could miss it with this neon green color? <laughs> exactly. Who could miss it? Exactly. Very cool. I like it. Um, yeah. I would Im imagine, you know, it's, it's, you know, pocket tights now. Oh, yeah. No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> different type of hosiery. You oh, oh, I get you. I get you. <laughs> you. You show folks. You show folks. I know. I know. Playing on words. Um, this last week, nothing really crazy happened with me. Just been uh, but you know, uh, I like your uh, one of the few times that I know what you're doing. I like the idea of your uh, 
moving gadget today. So I, I'm, not I'm very see, excited yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh, one thing that I did do is over the weekend, I, I was part of a charity live stream. We played Minecraft, and kind of the gimmick was that you could donate, and your donations would go to in-game items for players to kill other players in the game. So if you had a you had a player that you really really liked, and this is you know really famous YouTubers, uh, you could donate, and all the proceeds went to Game Changer, GameChangerCharity.org, and you would affect the game by giving them food or or you know potions or weapons or items to make weapons and that was a ton of fun that was i got to host that that i oh great yeah that was a lot of fun that was so great. much fun what I was it that. on youtube or, or where was it was it? on twitch it was on twitch, on twitch? Yeah, oh on and, twitch okay great yeah, twitch.tv slash game changer charity i think you can look up the there's a video on demand on on that on that web page somewhere so you can watch it and we ended up raising ten thousand dollars for, wow, for charity. good for you. Yeah, I'm good really, really you. happy about that. We did we did some good there. So uh, I did that this weekend. Yeah. Okay, so, so we'll, do, we'll, do some, we'll do more good by doing this show. Perfect. Whether we, whether we like it or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this week and next week I'm doing uh, more stuff from the hardware show. Now, this company you probably know of like when you work with Brian or when you work in the studio, the company is called Leatherman. Do you oh, know what they man. do? Oh, man, yes. I, was, I don't know if you know, I'm, a, I'm an Eagle Scout uh, through the Boy Scouts. Well, you know what? I, I did not know that, and only recently did I learn Eagle Scout is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. For, for the Boy Scout, like... Um, I think it even gives you like an upgrade in the military if you if you you know you, you come in as a private you come in you as come, like you come in uh, you, you come in uh, as a sailor and they say uh, yeah I was an Eagle Scout they say oh why don't you take that battleship yeah exactly yeah, take, captain take it out just just captain, get, we trust yeah, you yeah take it and right. take a submarine with you too take the battleship <laughs> take a submarine right just get out you know what you you made it good job as you, as wow. a chicken and well. As an adult, you're sure you can handle all the responsibility. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. Yeah, so, so, I remember when Leathermans first came out and all the dads had them. Uh, Leatherman was a big name and people were really, really excited. Yeah, about we, we should say it, 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 it's, it's a versatile tool. Mostly the ones that I know look like a pliers. But within the pliers, there are all these other tools. Are we talking about the same thing? Right. Absolutely. Right. right. And, and it comes in a leather pouch. So I at the hardware show I see the Letterman booth and I see the Letterman tread which does not seem to come in a leather pouch which does not look like a pair of pliers which is totally huh. different as you'll see in this video. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Made is trying to end the Gizwiz one take here on gizwiz.tv. So, you know, you wouldn't expect to find a smartwatch at the hardware show. Well, you're not gonna, but you are gonna find a smart bracelet. This is really amazing. No batteries, no charging. We're at the Leatherman booth, and we're looking at the... Leatherman Tread, yeah. It's a new bracelet from Leatherman. New bracelet from Leatherman and uh, 29 tools and features on there. These are actual tools? These are actual tools, yeah. So you've got everything from flathead on there. Oh, wow. Uh, you've got your Phillips right there. We've got a box cutter on here, glass breaker. And, of course, when you're looking to crack that beer at the end of the day, the bottle opener. <laughs> the of most course. important thing, the Absolutely. bottle opener. Yeah. Now, do, do you take it off to you? I assume you have to. You do, yeah. So here, I can demonstrate with the one that I'm wearing right here. Have, uh, it comes in two different. It uh, does. It comes in the stainless as well as the black here, and so you just pop it off. Okay, we're popping it off. Yep, like so, and then if you flatten it out, so let's find a screwdriver here, flatten it out like that, just twist and turn like so. So, yeah, pretty accessible. Any of the wrenches you need to get to, just flatten it out. It spins like that. Wow. Can I hold that for yeah, a second? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you know, it doesn't weigh that much. I... No, no, it's not too much different than a normal wristwatch or anything else you might carry around on your on your wrist. A uh, little bit, um, you know, it's got kind of a burly feel to it, but um, yeah, really handy to have. Great portable tool. Excellent. And you know, I didn't even I started the interview without asking your name. Oh, Justin Hoyt from Leatherman. 
Yeah. Justin from Leatherman. Uh, Justin, is this out now? No, this will be shipping uh, August 1st. And the price? Uh, it'll be 200 Hang for the on. black and 150 for the stainless. Oh, now, is there an update are they on two the price? Metals? Uh, no, both <laughs> the same metal. So 17.4 stainless steel, really uh, rust resistant. The black has a DLC black coating on it, which is uh, DLC stands for diamond light coating. Really kind of tough, really hard to scratch, and uh, you know, really nice uh, feel on the wrist. Amazing. So. Don't go anywhere without the toolbox on your wrist. And the best thing is you don't have to charge it. Dick DiBartolo, Mads Madis Rider, and the Gizwiz. Gizwiz.tv. Justin, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye. Very cool. So you were it's saying, cool, hold on on the price I, there. I was sort of astounded at the price. Mm -hmm. 150 yeah. in stainless and 200 in uh what was it carbon like diamond i think was the right. th there you go um i mean it's ingenious uh 29 tools but you know the funny thing is i'm just thinking so you something breaks on your bike and you get off it and you go i have that tool but i have the 200 dollar version of this bracelet do I want to actually scratch anything <laughs> by using no this joke. as a wrench? At this point, at 150 <laughs> bucks, is the bike worth it? <laughs> I, I know. Wow. And, and the funny thing is, uh, I, I was joking that you could spend that kind of money for a smartwatch. Well, it turns out, the guy said, that in the fall, and there's no price yet, they're going to make another model, which will actually have a... A uh, Swiss made wristwatch on it wow. so that you can have the watch and the tools. And I have no idea what that's going to cost. Yeah, I see someone in the, someone in the chat name. room is, is saying uh, that Letterman tools in general are not cheap. But no. I think uh, this is. A little on the pricey side. I'm looking at all the tools on here. We you have a yeah, I know. Lock, I mean, it's very, it, 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 it's very, it's very clever. I, I was just looking at tank wrench. Yes, carbide glass breaker, screw a few yeah. screwdrivers, a few yep, box wrenches, both, both Phillips, a lot of hex drives, hex, square. Yeah. Socket and there's drive. also a quarter inch socket drive. So I assume with the drive you can carry. A, a set of sockets with you and then add them to the mix wow so like i said it's very clever all stainless but i'm not sure maybe it's one of those things that when it gets in the marketplace it'll be uh, 125 and 155 i have no idea right but I, guess, I, I guess i i guess they'll see how it sells exactly and from, from what I remember at Boy Scouts, there was a lot of uh, compete with the Joneses. Beat the Joneses? Whoa. What was uh, it? Uh, keep up with keep the up Joneses. Keep up with the Joneses uh, right. with a lot of the dads. One dad would get the Leatherman, which was, was, was not cheap. And then the next day, all of them would have it. Or they'd have the upgraded, you know, ver you know the more expensive brand or whatever. So, um, very interesting to yeah, see. and also I'm I think pricing. It, it was interesting uh, last week. We did the uh, up cart, you know, the cartoon up steps, and at the show they were saying the pre order price was sixty nine dollars, and then when it was in the marketplace, it would be eighty nine dollars. And then when I got home and I was writing up the thing for the show, the website reflected that. And then a day later, I was looking for I think the weight of the cart, and I went back. The $69 price was just gone. And I think what happened is that there was such a positive response from, from the wholesalers that they could sell it, or the guy got so many orders that he figured, you know, why, why do the introductory price? Right. I can sell this many. Why don't I? I'm just going to start with the $89 price. So the $69 price just vanished. Wow. So it, it's possible that at the end of the show, Leatherman said, you know, only 39 people wanted it at this price. Who knows? But anyway, you can, you know, you can keep track of that. If, if you want an unusual piece of jewelry, uh, a conversation piece, this is it. 
perfect. Yeah, and if also if you need those 29 tools, it's even better. Yeah, I guess it, it really does depend because one of the reasons that we loved the Leatherman and Boy Scouts was the pliers were a big deal and the fact that I had a knife. And this tool doesn't have either of those. Either. Right. So either. It really depends on your profession. If if you're yeah. you know dealing, uh, it seems like a bike sort of situation. If you're dealing it with does. that sort of hex all the time, yeah. yeah. So now you have to buy a Leatherman tool and the Leatherman thread, right. a tread, right? To, right. To be an Eagle Scout. <laughs> Eagle Scout is not cheap. <laughs> no, no, it's not. My parents can attest to that. Um, oh, okay. Perfect. So so. Did, uh, does that mean you you have every badge they they offer? No. So there are certain badges that are required to get Eagle Scout. So they have Eagle Eagle required badges, and it's almost like like gold, silver, and bronze type of badges. So things like I think it was emergency preparedness was an Eagle required badge, or um, uh, you know, not tying was like a silver required badge or something like that. So oh, okay. you'd have specific badges that you'd have to get in order to get Eagle. And then the big thing with, with getting Eagle was you would do a service project and then, and you would get it approved by the board of, of uh, the, you know, the Eagle board or whatever. It was a big, it's supposed to be a very big thing. Mine was there uh, was the middle school that I went to is a dyslexic school, a dyslexic um, private school. They had just got an extra, a new building, but it had been painted like all these horrible colors, like super neon green and yellow and blue. And it was really for mo most children, for some reason, most children who have dyslexia also have an, have like ADD or ADHD as well. And the school couldn't afford to repaint. They had just, you know, spent all this money to uh, get this extra building. And so my Eagle project was to paint all all the rooms. And it was uh, it was like f a thousand something square. It was God, I forget how much square footage of painting it was. Yeah, for you to personally paint it, or no? To... So you, it's a whole project. So you have the idea is that you'd organize lots of other people. So part of my oh. project was I organized a big group of people to help me paint. I went to uh, I think it was Benjamin Moore. Ended up donating all the paint. Uh, we got uh, we got a service to haul away trash for free. Uh, Randall's ended up donating um, water bottles and sandwich material so I could help feed people. It ended up being a week-long project because we we had to um, we had to prime everything and then cover it in two paint uh, two coats of paint, and we had to buy a uh, water-based. We had to buy a, a special type of primer because it had been oil-based paint and we were doing it with water-based paint. It was a lot of work, and it ended up being over, I think, 1,500 service hours, which basically, wow. however many hours plus how many, or times however many people. So it ended up being like a like a 100-hour project, but we had 15 people, so it was uh, 1,500 hours. Um, and uh, yeah, that's so that was my Eagle Eagle Scout project. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Thanks. That, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was, yeah. Uh, that no, was, well, well, Leo said... Uh, that uh, Gizwiz was going to leave Twit, he said, you know, Chad was an Eagle Scout, and he will build a studio. He will get this on the internet. He will make this a hit. Right. <laughs> so, Thanks. Thanks. So, and and we're, we're, we're in the middle of doing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Woohoo! Building Gizwiz. Okay. One brick at a time. Yay, yay, building the, the uh, Gizwiz. <laughs> One Patreon patron at a time. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so you want to carry tools around with you. You don't happen to have $150. You can get by with far less tools. Okay. Over here, and, and you've heard of a skeleton key. I have. Right? You know, I have heard okay. of a skeleton key. All right, well, this is a very unique skeleton key, cutting to my close-up camera, and it is from Night Eyes. And Night Eyes makes fun stuff, so it's a picture of a skeleton. Right. And as opposed to 21 tools, this has a flathead screwdriver at the end. The serrated blade can act as a saw. I actually cut through a package, one of those clamshell packages or something I had to open. I was able to open it with that. This is a bottle opener. The edge here is a nail file, oh, which wow. I have used. To, to, uh, and as I said, the flathead screwdriver, and you can use the corner of the screwdriver to uh, score things. 
And this little guy is all stainless steel, and it is six bucks on Amazon. Oh, that's inexpensive. Yeah, and TSA approved, so you can take it, put it on your key uh, ring. And if for some reason skeletons freak you out, they make this. <laughs> they make this. Also, they call it the doohickey. Isn't that the clever? doohickey? I the love it. The doohickey. And uh, they also make it with a little line design. Uh, same features, same tools, same price. And the company is Night Eyes, which makes uh, Night Eyes makes a lot of really fun little gadgets. That's and, nice. And uh, yeah, the the doohickey. They call it the quick key if it just has the regular design on it. And I think it's the skull key when you uh, buy the one with the uh, skull on the top. But I think it's very clever. And I like yeah. the fact that it's stainless steel. Oh, and it's Prime. five ninety nine and Holy Prime. Holy mackerel. You just get a yeah. shipper into your house in two days. How, oh, there. Uh, yeah. You know, cut and they're twine. Running th yeah. Exactly. The screwdriver, you right. know, uh, flathead. So it's pretty neat. That is really, really cool. <laughs> I like it. The, oh, nice. The yeah. doohickey. The doohickey. Yes. I, I used to forever carry a one of those little multi-tools on my keychain forever. And I, th I became so useful that I, I, I took it off one day and then forgot to put it back on. Um, but this, is, this could be the replacement. It's perfect. It could, yeah. It's, it's, it's easy to do. It's easy to do. The third, the third gadget is... Oh, I'll, I'll get your opinion of it. Okay. I, I walked a lot of the hardware show with... Um, uh, Michael Summer, who uh, finds gadgets for uh, Fox TV, Fox Business. And we were both so excited because we heard about the Ox, OXX, the Ox Coffee Box. Yeah. And, and so we didn't video it because the company has a very impressive video. Uh, so let's look at the video. It's and then so we can impressive, talk. it's on Vimeo. That's how you it's know. A, yes, you yes, know. exactly. So they aren't okay. dealing with YouTube. No, Vimeo no, quality. exactly. So here's two minutes and 15 seconds of very dramatic. The modern world oh, doesn't gosh. happen by accident. It's built. Built by people who bring everything they've got day after day. Creating yeah. greatness under the toughest Ooh. conditions. Yeah. It's anything but easy. They build the roads we drive on. The houses we live in. The, the offices we work we... in. The things that help us live comfortable modern lives. But where they work, they are denied even the smallest comforts, like a good cup of coffee. They deserve better. One company has done the hard work to change that. Introducing the Coffee Box by Ox. Made beyond rugged to deliver in the harshest environments. Built for those who bring. It's years in the making. Designed, tested, then redesigned. Every piece industrial grade. Every detail perfected. In trial after trial, it outperforms any other coffee maker, meeting standards no one dared to set. At just 11 pounds, the coffee box has a compact, portable design that goes anywhere. It's dustproof and watertight. No spills or leaks, no matter where you take it or how you pack it. Its heavy-duty chassis has been engineered and tested to surpass anything the industry has dared to imagine. With a removable 2.5 liter tank, the coffee box holds 75% more water than the average Why are you machine. Filling it? I know, isn't it right? It's made of impact <laughs> resistant material to handle oh, whatever you can throw. Water. When we say built beyond rugged, we mean it. Bring anything you got. The coffee box takes it and still delivers. Cup after cup, job after job. You can pee on it and it Greatness won't matter. Isn't easy. Just ask the people who build our modern world. Like them, Ox is ready to do what's never been done. And we can't do it alone. Help Ox go the last mile to create the world's toughest coffee maker, built for the hardest working people on Earth. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So he, here's w what I think is, is sort of, I, I don't quite understand. So we go down and we see the, the uh, Ox box. And in that video, people are in Jeeps and in trucks, 
And this guy is watching the video off to the side and says, ah, this is great for me to have in my Jeep. And I said, you know, it uses 1500 watts. It can't be away from an outlet. Right. And he says, well, I could put a little inverter in the cigarette light. I said, that would 1500 watts. So I think probably the, the only market is like heavy duty construction where you're going to have a generator right. or be near power. Yeah, also, and, and watts the idea is with a ton. I don't think people like, I just bought an, an un uninterruptible power supply and I had to up, I had to go to like a really high level just to get 900 watts. Yes. 1500 watts normally is a 1500 watt item should be plugged into an outlet on its own with nothing else into that uh, into that circuit and the the other thing is i mean it's really well made and that also they, they never stress that it, it, it's a k-cup machine that's what Did i you was know wondering that? that was the next yeah. question i was going no to, I, I was thinking so, so how does this make coffee uh so it's a k-cup machine but it a huge coffee reservoir, as you saw. I, I think you can, it's uh, 84.5 ounces of water, a lot. So I think you can do 12 K cups in a row. There's another very nice feature is on the side, there's a little uh, faucet where you can just get hot water if you want to make soup. Or if you want to make tea, oh, that is something a nice. Yeah, feature. Some, something something you wouldn't get from a, a regular uh, coffee maker. But uh, you want to take a guess at the price? Oh gosh, uh, expensive. Uh, I'm going to say three hundred dollars. You hit it right on the head. Really? Yeah. Two two ninety nine. I'm I'm I, and and oh I was I was going to show you I was just loading up the the the. It's Kickstarter now. I hadn't checked that out yet. Oh yeah, you know it's past Kickstarter, right? Oh, is I it? Think, oh. uh, isn't it done? Probably this Kickstarter. Only changed. because I I, I I clicked buy and I I think it said. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It's finished. Yeah, it's finished. I think the guy uh, said shipping. They'll be shipping them in July. But I, I mean, you see, the thing is, they show it like up on scaffolds and things. You, you. I mean, you know, they normally it, would have power up there because they have drills or welders. Yeah, that's or, true. You're you're right. You're you know, right. But out camping sounds like no. a great place to use this. <laughs> right. You can't use it a basically. unless you have like a a, a real Honda generator. You know, right. Honda makes. A fifteen hundred watt. Uh, they make a two thousand watt generator. You could run this with that, but probably nothing else. How much? Uh, do, how much does a like normal K cup thing use? Of water? Yeah, or of watts? Like oh, the, the uh, thing in your kitchen. The, 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 the K cup machine, I believe, is fifteen hundred watts. Oh, okay, okay. So this isn't yeah. outrageous for the industry. Got no, it. no, it's it's about. It's about what other he might have said eighteen hundred watts. I'm not sure, but it was definitely up there. Huh. Uh, it might have been eighteen hundred because it can also, I guess, boil water for soup or make make water. Uh, oh, I just also, so it's it's four thousand fifty watts. Is no, one, that can't. Four, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Four, I, oh, I I'm said sorry. it wrong. Yeah. I said it wrong. Fourteen hundred and fifty. Uh, fifty, right? right. Okay. Okay, and eleven pounds empty—that's a lot, right? I don't know. I get. They say they said it like it was so light. <laughs> well, eleven pounds empty. I uh, got a, a picture. Uh, another five pounds for. Oh, wait a minute, early birds. Oh, these are things that have gone right. by sold already. Out. Right, sold, sold out. out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Special ops box. Oh, special ops. Special ops. It's black. They have uh, an anyway, inverter uh, with a power inverter. Oh, my. Oh, See that thing? Quiet. Yes, but that's what you would need. Yeah, if, if you, it's humongous. Yes, if you wanted to run it in a car, you could, but you need that power inverter. Go, go back up. How much was it with the power inverter? Uh, the one that they were selling is 550 and you also get four cups and a T-shirt. But this is the Kickstarter wow. price. Oh, right, okay. So let okay. me see if I can find a website here eventually 
and get a uh, lock on actually what yeah, this thing I, I assume someone in the chat room was kidding because they said I saw this in a store. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here it is on Ox, so here we can, we can do some detective work yeah. together. Apparently it was a pre-order, it says, right here. And we couldn't find the page you were looking for. Oh, thanks. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I, I found that too. <laughs> that, it was... That's not a good sign, is no, it? No, please. Right. Um, very, very. So, is on just one side it's coffee, on the other side it is water, or just you just? Oh, uh, oh, oh the, it's the same, uh, side. Uh, same I side. I see. Yeah. Well, that is a. But very I thought I thought, it was, I thought it was very clever, but uh, and, and I thought I, I thought the the video is interesting, but. It, it seems to leave out a lot of things like both Michael and I were going, how does this make coffee? You know, we yeah. finally got Where there. Where does the cake cup found, go in? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it sounds like if you want to have coffee and throw the pot around and heave it into the dirt and drive your car over it, this, <laughs> this is the pot right. you must have. Right. The ox box. Very cool. I really, yeah. really, really like uh, like the idea. It looks like I, this is one of the th reasons that I like Kickstarter. Is no K cup manufacturer has created a super industrial duper useful, strength. Exactly. Industrial, you know, or, or exactly. You know, exactly. Shop style. Yeah. If you want to look macho, you carry this in the same hand that you're wearing your Leatherman. Right. Wrist bracelet, the track. wrist wrist tool. Yeah, kit. and then yes, yes exactly. exactly. And your Eagle Scout badge in the other. And yeah, there you go. There you go. Like I'm that. an Eagle Scout. Yeah. 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 You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. <laughs> that's exact. That's perfect. Well, we've come to the part yes. of the show. Now I'm I'm very excited about this inexpensive, but to get your take on it. So, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for... You know you don't need it, but you might want it we'll at go on the chance. backstage. Yes. yes. He actually, those, when, behind Get those it. drapes is Get the brick house. It. Yeah, right right back here. You know, at one side house. is the brick house. It looks and a little the other bit like the wood house is, currently. But, is, is, um, but yeah. Our own studio. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are in moving month where we are looking at gadgets... To help you move, if you get to a new place, what, what do you need? What, or, or if you're about ready to move, you know, what, what are some of the gadgets that you need? And so I found something that I actually didn't use for my move, but I thought would have been really helpful. I wish that I would have known about this, and so I'm passing it on to you. These are moving and tape storage tape that has the name of where it needs to go on the tape itself and I wanted to kind of open this up live to show all of you guys so this moving to storage tape is by 3M so it's kind of a brand that at least I trust and it comes in six different colors with a few different now this is, says kitchen it's a little bit hard to hard to read that but that does say kitchen on there you also have fragile and you have a few bedrooms. So, whoa, I'm, they're falling out of here. Here's fragile. You have living room. Uh, this one was kitchen, remember. So those are all three different places. And then there are three different, oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Here are, there are two different bedrooms. So if you have one bedroom uh, that needs, you know, one that needs to go somewhere and the other one needs to go somewhere else. And then a bathroom as well. So I kind of wanted to test these out. Yeah, I, that's why I wanted to get your reaction because I looked on uh, Amazon and people loved the idea, but a lot of people said it was very thin tape. It is, it is pretty thin. I do have to say that. It's, uh, I'm a big fan of the super thick packing tape. You, you, can get it, um, you, get, you can get it really all over, but the really thick stuff that you kind of don't feel like is going to break apart. But um, in terms of sticky, like it is just as sticky as any other tape. Oh, okay. And you can't break it. Well, yes. maybe you can. 
Wow. Yeah. Well, it's not breaking that direction at least. No. No. Okay. That was the that was the bedroom. We got here's. Oh, sorry. That was the bathroom. Sorry for the loud tape sounds. Oh, I always break the tape with my teeth. I don't know if that's that's. Uh, oh, it does stick to itself. So that they haven't figured okay. that one out yet. Okay. That techno. No, I'm just kidding. Um. It has a very some tape. I, I this is this is based off of experience. I don't know if you know my other job. I worked in a warehouse. I've had a lot of jobs in my short life. Yeah. Um, I was a warehouse manager, and uh, it we it was basically what you would you know imagine um, uh, like an Amazon packing fa facility. So I actually do have quite a lot of experience with tape, and <laughs> okay. some tape is the really cheap tape has a certain smell that you get from Uline or from, uh, there's Scotch makes a, a really cheap tape. And this tape has that smell. I don't know if anyone in the entire world understands <laughs> exactly where I'm coming from, but uh, it does it have that smell. It smells, yeah. Uh, that one review on Amazon that says smells cheap, that was Chad. Yeah, review. exactly. It smells just a tiny bit cheap. So yeah, it is a tiny bit thin. But to be honest, you also you also don't really get a lot here. You know, this isn't a super thick roll. So what I would suggest, if if I if if I had been you know moving and actually had this, is I would probably just slice off one of these and use a thicker tape to move and then put this just on on the you know yeah you know it's it, it's interesting i was reading the reviews and a lot of pe some people said oh it takes a ton of that tape to seal a box and other people were saying use it to label the box yeah and then use it use a different tape yeah so the the cost of this tape ended up being uh, 13 dollars so you for, for all six for all six oh for, for all for every roll that oh, i have here that, that's like just two bucks right yeah, two twenty so five two dollars a roll and at that price i would say that's a pretty inexpensive way to yeah the boxes i um, would too right oh, and the other the other complaint is is the way, way you just pointed out people said why in the world did they ever put white on yellow oh gosh so you can't even see it in that photo no, exactly. Why on the exactly. other? Really, yeah. you're absolutely right. Yeah. This, oh, of course, the one thing is, once you have the tape, you go, anything that's yellow, put in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, movers, yellow means kitchen. Um, it is a, I, I do agree with all the reviewers on Amazon. It is a little thin for my tastes. Um, but I didn't realize it was so, it was actually like 225 a roll. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a lot less expensive uh, yeah, when you think of it in that way. And also, this, the fragile um, roll would have gotten a lot of use at, at, when, during my move um, because uh, there was a lot of little things, and I was just end up writing on the box. I had used, used boxes, and so uh, there was so much writing on them, no one, any of them, you know, <laughs> whenever my friends or, or even me, I, would, I wouldn't be able to tell my own notes. So having something that is specific to my move, especially with used boxes, would have been really, really nice. One thing that I wanted to try was, you know, if, if here, th this, uh, th this goes into the kitchen, you know, it's a, it's a cup, so let's, uh-oh, I think I, I, oh, there it goes. I'm a fan of... of oh, I hate that when, when <laughs> you can't find the end of the roll. Yeah. You know, it makes it even worse because I'm a big fan of using scissors to cut the, t the moving tape. I'm a humongous fan of that. So, I don't know. I'd say that it works. It, it works just fine. Okay. Oh, okay. You know. I, I almost... What you need, you have to buy magnifying tape, <laughs> which you put over the kitchen tape, so it makes the words big. Exactly. It gets to be quite expensive. Yeah, no, I, I do like the idea of being able to label boxes so easily. It really is quite colorful too. I mean, that's the that's the other. Oh, thing, sir, is, Mr. Eagle Scout, you sir. Can't, you can't. 
Where yes. does this go? Because it has three things. It says bedroom, fragile bathroom, uh, no, listen. kitchen. Oh, listen. This is all going to work out in the end, okay? We're going to have a disco cup here, and it's going to be really useful. I'm, okay. I swear it. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, if anything, it's really cool looking. Um, yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think it's neat. So that is the 3M. Oh, it says, oh, that's, you know what? Scotch and 3M are two different companies, right? Yes. Oh, no, they're not. What? Look they're at this. not? I didn't know this. This is, it says uh, 3M. And then where does it say? It says Scotch in here. It's Scotch. Oh. Huh. I thought 3M right, and Scotch I, were two different companies. So did I. I guess no more. Huh. Interesting. Um, well, um, or maybe it's Scotch brand, but 3M technology? Who knows? Who, Who knows? knows? Um, but uh, you can get it prime, prime shipping if you're a prime member. $13.98, so basically $14. Uh, you know, I just got down to the description. It, it is the stupidest description ever. Wait, you know, what? Uh, you know, down there where it says... Description. 3M Scotch 171CP standard packing tape comes in a 1.88 in inch w width, uses a rubber adhesive, and is packed six rolls per pack, four packs per case. It doesn't mention one thing about... <laughs> It's it just doesn't say anything thing. about the fact no. that it has it, written on it. Right. It just, says, it, it just says something about tape, and it says thicker is better. It doesn't say great. It, it, it is just ridiculous. When purchasing you know. this product, consider the thickness. The, the, variance, the variance in thickness often <laughs> makes an important difference in proper performance. This packing that, tape has 1.9 mil thickness. <laughs> Is that ridiculous? Ah! You know, thank you to copywriter. Thanks. Instead, instead of running around trying to figure out what's in those boxes, get this assortment of six rolls of tape <laughs> and know instantly with the big bold lettering and the different. <sighs> no, God. it looks like they gave that to to the the lady who fills the orders for the these yes. guys. Yes, and and she uh, she looked it up on on. Uh, it's like it's, it's like the verbiage website. that's written here is useful for a very small amount of people. Six rolls per pack, four rolls per case. Yeah, the people Who cares? buying it. I mean, the wholesalers, not yes. anybody else. Yes, that is very funny. I'm glad you noticed that. Um, so that yeah. is my crappy corner, uh, and uh, I think next week is the last of this month's. Um, oh yeah, what are you gonna? Are you asking gosh. for votes, or are you just gonna? about that. Well, I'll figure okay. it out. Well, all right, we I'll have a whole something. week to figure it out. You have a whole week. Yeah. yeah, can confirm this tape is very sticky and hard to pull off of this cup. Uh, that you know is what? We could we could give the chat room homework. Co yeah, Maybe you like come up like with it. the. Yeah, that next week after Chad does his crappy corner, Blech. we'll just say what should he do next month. And if like eight or ten people say next month do, and we'll look at them, and you say, "Oh, I like that best." Perfect. And that'll be it. Doesn't Perfect. that sound good? That sounds okay. great. That sounds yeah. great. All right. So chat room, think of a uh, a subject that chat should use. Chat should use chat. for June. Perfect. And with for that, June. it is time for Dick's gadget. Where? Oh, Dick's, one second, Dick's Gadget Warehouse. I need to switch the buttons on my monocaster. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. All right, this letter, this letter has a lot of variances and complications. Hi, Chad and Dick. Oh, well, you guys have used two of my videos on shows. Ooh. One in 2012, one in 2013. I never got a box of crap or anything. Oh, no. 
So I figured it was time to try again because maybe third time's a charm, <laughs> as they say. Oh, that's so funny because we were just saying earlier the third yeah, show is third the show's best, a yeah. charm. Uh, so we will make sure you get something. Yep. Uh, before Jeff Needles came on, we really had no one in charge of sending out crap, and and it was a box of crap was something I was selling, which was a box of crap. Uh, the crap we were giving people whose videos we used was a Mad Magazine and something we used, like a roll of tape or something like that. But whatever it is, you will get something from us for sure this time. Now, this is the other different part of the video. I've included a video, but there is no sound and I don't talk on it. So please read my email as the video plays. Here we go. Video. Okay. Start. Starts. I took an old Mac Mini mm -hmm. and have Windows 7 running on it, and all it has running is a few applications. One is the screensaver, and the main function, as you can see, is I made a folder and just placed movie posters, music album covers, comic book covers, and video game covers on it. Oh, that is cool. The movies and comic books fit best, but I also like seeing the album covers. Oh, wow. I also found use for my Leap Motion, uh, the device in front of the giant pencil. It will track your movement and display it on the screen. Whenever the screensaver, when that happens, the screensaver is stopped and your hand is displayed on the screen. Once there's no motion sensed, the screensaver kicks off again, and it goes back to showing the videos. Oh, that is so this cool. Was, the posters, <laughs> yeah. This was a great way to reuse a monitor that was going to be thrown away by my employers. Uh, keep up the great work. Do I finally get some crap? We hope so. Yes. We'll uh, figure George it out. George from also, New York. He also yes, has, um, uh, what is that, uh, that, that phone? Oh, the, the brick phone. The brick phone. He has a brick phone there. The brick phone. Oh, that's very clever. And the giant pencil. The brick phone was from Benetone. Right. I, if this is the, the, the one we're I think it about. is because it looks like <clears throat> yes. it has that, um, that crown in the top. Yes. And it takes your SIM card. And so it's a way to uh, make your smartphone look really dumb. Yeah. So you can have a you can have a brick phone that actually uh, uses your SIM card. Yeah, and, uh, and there's that, that little crown that I was. No, oh, there, there you go. That, that's, that's the, the oh, oh the yeah, that's just, yeah, yeah. It has there's snake on it too, by the way. Snake is a big feature of the brick phone. Oh yes, uh, a, a little uh, a very r basic <laughs> video right. game, right? Right. Yeah. Um, and one of my favorite ideas with the brick phone is is if your children are acting up. They'll get the brick. They won't get any apps, but you'll still be able to call them, keep track of them. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. You give that's them the brick phone, and they have this gigantic thing they have to carry around with them because they've been bad. You, it's like yeah. a form of grounding the, the kids. Exactly. You'll get, For kids. Gonna... But if an adult carries this around, they will get a ton of attention going, oh, whoa. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, man, where'd you get that? That looks really cool. What are you kidding me? You making real calls on the... <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And, and I think that the, the coolest part of it was it has one to three months of, of standby power. Oh, battery life. I yes. remember that. You charge yes. it once and for three months, possibly. You don't have to charge yeah. it again. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, that was a great... George, okay. That was a great... Yeah, that was great. And George, George uh, I should get something, George, for not doing a bad job syncing the video with your words. That was very so. good. You did a great job. <laughs> great voiceover work. <laughs> great voiceover work. Uh, and I want to point out uh, on, on, the, on the monocaster, it's now been branded... This is <gasps> the mono. Oh, it's, wow! And I also need it's, to switch these two buttons because I I was like, wait a second, which one's which? And if I hit this one, we'll launch into. You can see this is a named letter. This is G W for Gadget Warehouse. It's time for the letters. I need to switch that those buttons. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you know what? So we don't leave it out totally. We need more oh, yes. videos for Gadget Warehouse uh, Day. Okay, I, I believe that uh, George's was the last video we have. There might be one, but I'm not sure. So if you have anything around old, new, crappy, the, your favorite we'll gadget it. of all time. Well, take it. <laughs> Just shoot a little video. Like George's video was like two minutes. Perfect. Uh, shoot a vi little video. My favorite gadget. I invented this. I'm using this gadget for this. I bought a piece of crap. Uh, uh, a video. Put it on YouTube and send the link to your video to mail, mail at... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get the giz with the mail at mail and watch it magically appear. Uh, mail at at the giz with font dot <laughs> v. Oh my gosh! Third time's a charm. Third time, nothing ever goes wrong. The third time, everything is floorless. Floorless. There floorless. we go. And mail at giz with. Oh, there it is. Oh, could whoa, not, yes. Could not Just find the you. font, so we're using Mail impact. at gizwiz.tv. <laughs> wow. uh, and you will get, you will for sure get an autographed copy of Mad Magazine, one of those 35-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures. That's what you get. George is getting that and a piece of crap since he evidently got shortchanged <laughs> in the past. All right, so now on to the letter... Kevin Stern writes, Chad and Dick, or Dick and Chad, here is a cheap, a cheaper plastic strainer that attaches to your pots for draining water, etc. This was last week's Gadget Warehouse video. Uh, do you see the, the uh, link to it there? Chad? Yeah, let me, let me it, pull that it's up. It's on here. Amazon Prime. I just ordered it. And it is nine dollars. Oh wow, that is inexpensive. Okay, so uh, Kevin Stern. Last week we had a gentleman on sent in a video. He had a stainless version of this for forty years. Yeah, it's like a Pyrex dish. It never goes <laughs> yes, bad. Exactly. And he said uh, that that he thinks his wife or or he can't remember. He he got it used. Yikes. Uh, and so this is the modern version of it. Okay, it's plastic. His had a, a locking device, and this looks like it might be a bungee cord, right? Right, or some sort of like, yeah, longer plastic maybe. Uh, yeah, so it's probably rubber. easier to click onto a pot but may not last as long. So if you want a strainer that can go on pretty much any pot, Reese. frying pan. Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, that's smart. Um, Follow the link on my website. It's nine bucks, and it's on Amazon Prime. And uh, I'm gonna add a second letter because probably other people have the same question. Ron Schneider writes in: Do I have to use iTunes to see Gizwiz? No, no. You should be able to uh, if you want to use any, absolutely any podcatcher. And it's not showing up when you search for the Gizwiz for any reason. Uh, you can go to gizwiz.tv, and uh, underneath uh, we're live now, so you're going to see the live player currently. Wait a minute, we're live now. We're currently alive. No, we're live. Oh, why Gizwiz. wasn't I told? There we go. So um, that's our live player. That won't be there unless we're actually recording. But down here, it, this will be replaced with the most current episode. And down here, you can see subscribe. And if you want just the plain old RSS, you can copy this link. So let's say you want HD video. You can copy that. Uh, and normally you can do this within a mobile phone as well. Just you know, click and hold and say copy link. But this is just the pure RSS, which looks a lot like that. Ooh, very exciting. Um, and you can put that into your podcatcher, and that will subscribe you to our show if for some reason it's not showing up in search, which it should, but if it's not, that is the manual way to add our show to your podcatcher. There so, you go. Yeah. So, there yeah. you go. So, Ron, 
You should be able to get us even on your microwave oven. We are everywhere. Right. We are everywhere. Everywhere RSS is sold is uh, is where the Gizwiz <laughs> is. So. That's right. Perfect. And it's free unless you care to support us because we are no longer being paid by anybody but you. Thank you so <laughs> much to yeah, our we have 357 patrons. If this wow. show Patron, was... I like to call them patron of the funky arts. <laughs> patron of <laughs> the farts. No, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no, no not our art. Not our, not our no, part. They're no, not no. quite patron of the arts. No. But, yeah, they um, are patron of the arts. It's just not the high arts. No. Patron of the low arts. arts. <laughs> the crummy arts. The crummy uh, arts. If you got any sort of value out of this show we hope that uh well don't say that we won't get a penny i know okay that's true if you got uh, any chuckle you, <laughs> any yeah there you go any if you chuckle, got a single if you got a chuck you got a chuck not even not even old. a chuckle just a chuck <laughs> one of the two <laughs> uh please please um help support the show we are super grateful for all of the patrons we have now and uh we really 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 appreciate all of your help and it yeah. goes, it go. It, I don't. I think you said it best. It was something like, "This doesn't. This this helps us not lose more. We'll, money. It, it, we'll lose more money. I mean, certainly you sent a spent a fortune buying all that equipment to do this. <laughs> I'm TV. I'm trying to pay my just just pay the rent on the studio, twenty two hundred bucks a month. So basically. It's paying paying less to do the show exactly than, than we normally would exactly yeah. exactly so so thank right. you thank you thank you thank you patreon.com slash gizwiz is where you go to do that don't forget that you can uh, play what the heck is it right now uh, at gizwiz dot biz um, there it, you uh, there will be a I cannot type when I am typing <laughs> talking uh, at gizwiz.biz there is a banner on the side to play what the heck is it go there click on that and what the heck is this yeah that's the new one hmm uh, it's and, and scroll down what did you think the old one was again oh gosh I don't I uh, I remember what it really was I thought that this was I truly didn't know it looked like some sort of pacifier or something. Oh, it looked good. like a yeah. baby okay. device, but it was actually found out to hold yarn. Yeah, it's uh, Yarnert. Yarnert, and this Yarnert. one was 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 marketed at. Uh, oh, it's so funny. The company makes like four models, and this is, I think, the masculine model. So <laughs> if you're a man and you knit, you should have a mustache. Yarn it. And, and it's not, uh, Dr. Mom suggested this, and, and it's not something he, she glued on. It comes that way. Oh, my gosh. So, isn't that a riot? They yarn it. Shock a brilliant it. new... There. <laughs> there, oh, there it is. Oh, uh, it's called the Manly. Holy mackerel, that thing cost forty thirty five dollars $35? Wow. $35 for For $35, I, you could knit one. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's making a fair amount of money. Wow, in five fab colors. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. Holy mackerel. Now, why do you want to buy the Manly and get it in baby blue? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, my gosh. What about I'll people? take the baby blue Manly. That is so funny. So that is what was last That uh, was last month. So month. now you have to guess what this month is. Oh then, as gosh. Chad said, we like it better when you make up. I have. Uh, I. I won't say them, but I have some funny, some not not funny, very clever answers as That's to what awesome. this might. That's awesome. Yeah. That is great. Uh, this and it's, it's is fun. About three to four hundred people play this uh, every two months, so it, it's really fun. That is great. Uh, if you really know what it is, you'll win the August issue of Mad Magazine with my pocket hose ad in it. Um, but if you don't know. Um, you, we give away 12 meds, up to 12 meds for the right answer, and up to 24 meds for stupid, silly answers. Which is so, perfect. Love yeah. those stupid, funny, Especially ridiculous, our audience. clever answers. Yes, our in. audience is very clever. I love our audience. Yes, I do too. If you want to catch previous episodes of the Gizwiz, please head on over to gizwiz.tv. 
There you can find a few of our older episodes, especially since the uh, the change. You can also find us live if we are recording live. You just go to gizwiz.tv and we'll be there if we're live. We're live right now. Oh man, there we are. And uh, you can join the chat room right down here. Mine's really big because I have it uh, I have it uh, turned up on on my computer. And here are all the previous episodes as well. Um, and you can subscribe. Subscribe on iTunes or uh, in your podcatcher of your choice right here. And make sure that you email us at mail at gizwiz.tv. Uh, what else? Support us on Patreon. We love it. Anything yeah. else? Yeah. No, no, people are figuring out, oh, they'll each get to, well, it's 20% off that, okay? We, we pay someone 10% who runs the back end, all the bulletin that boards and stuff. That is true. And, Patre- and Patreon takes 10% for... Uh, yeah, Patreon takes some... Um, clearing uh, all the credit cards and everything. Right, and then we pay credit card transaction fees. We give uh, some to our producer, Josh. Thank you so much, Josh. And... Then the rest I don't know, and, and, and for some reason, three percent to the cat, which I'll never understand. Right. The but cat I is, okay. Uh, the cat's there. Cat's working. Yeah. What are you cats, gonna do? Cats with yeah. It's cats I on know. camera. Cats on camera. Pay. Union cat. Uh, <laughs> union cat dudes. They they. Oh gosh, there's such a strong union. Wish we oh, the gone non-union, union? but yeah, yeah. You know, it flips. Well, so uh, what like are you gonna Charlie, do? Dennis's dog belongs to Oftra. Oh, and that's another off- the oh, dog gosh. union. Jeez, these unions. We're just trying to have a business here, and man, <laughs> uh, that about wraps it up for this episode of the Gizwiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.